These are the best, warmest, and most comfortable slippers you will own. And yes, it's from us. Now, 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 hold on. I know you might not have considered slippers from Hug before, but today I'm going to tell you why this pair of slippers is one of my favorite things for this winter. What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Fabio and today we're talking about slippers. I know many of you are still working a couple of days a week from home or even working from home full time. And there is nothing more comfortable to wear at home than a nice pair of slippers, especially during the winter. And I have to confess, I love a nice pair of slippers. I had many different slippers in the past, mostly from small Italian shoemakers. Maybe this is an Italian thing, I don't know, but for me, slippers were always part of my life growing up. And it's my go-to footwear when I'm at home. Also, I think it's something about the holiday season, the coziness of home, that makes this time of the year extra special. It screams a comfy pair of slippers. And I think I have a suggestion today that you might not have considered. So let me go back a little. One day I was scrolling through TikTok when I saw someone using this pair of Uggy slippers. I knew the brand, it was very popular a couple of years ago, I think, with this woman's type of boot. But I didn't know that they also sell slippers. And that person was saying how wonderful those slippers were. So I was very intrigued to find out more. So when the time came for me to replace my old pair of slippers, I got the Ugg Scuff slippers. And I have been using them for a few months now, so this is my review for those slippers. So let's start talking about the construction and the materials used to make these slippers. First of all, the Ugg slippers are made of real fur, from sheep or lamb. The upside of using real fur is that wool is warm temperature regulating and moisture wicking, meaning that during the winter season, your feet will be nice and warm and at the same time dry. Also, wool is odorless and hypoallergenic, ideal for footwear. Nobody likes synthetic materials rubbing against their feet and creating unpleasant smells. So natural fibers, especially wool, is what you want in a fluffy slipper. Now, some more technical information about the construction of the slippers that you should know about if you're considering buying a pair. The upper, which is the outer part of the slipper, the part that encases the foot, is 100% made of suede. It has this great, cozy, luxury texture, and I really like the way it looks. The upper has also this detailing rubber that some people don't like, but I find it gives some protection to the top part of the slipper, so I really appreciate it. And they also have many different colors available for the upper. Mine is called Espresso, which is this dark brown color, but the chestnut and the black colors have also become classics, and if you ask me, I think they look really nice. Another important detail is the insole, and unfortunately you cannot see it here, but without getting too technical, the insole is the extra strip of material that you put inside your shoe for comfort and protection. So for example, outdoor shoes, you want thicker insole to help with stability, comfort, and protection. On a pair of slippers, you want a thinner insole to give you this barefoot sensation, but at the same time, you want an insole that will help you isolate the temperature. So in this case, the Ugg slippers are made of 17 millimeters sheepskin insole, which is a natural material and very durable. The last thing about the construction of these slippers is that they are stitching. For sure, a little bit of glue is used, especially in the insole, but everything you see is tied together with nice stitching. I like that for two reasons. First, it's more durable and easy to repair. And second, because you don't have any glue smell or residues that might get in touch with your skin. Slippers are different from sneakers, because when you wear sneakers, you usually wear them with socks, which helps protect your feet. With slippers, you want the opposite. You want to feel the softness of the wool against your skin, and the manufacturer recommends wearing them without socks. So that's why I really appreciate the way these slippers are made. Lastly, let's talk about fitting. From my experience, these run true to size, so I recommend ordering them in the same size as your shoes. Once you get them, you will feel that they are a little bit tight on your midfoot. Don't worry, they will loosen up and open up in a couple of weeks. If between sizes, I would recommend ordering half size up and you should be fine. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that slippers should always be snuggly and ordering your true size will be the right size for most of you. Now, the last question is, are the Ugg scuff slippers worth it? And by now, you can probably guess my opinion. I think these are the best pair of slippers for the winter that I ever had. They are well made with premium materials and the fit is amazing. For $80 in the US or around 99 euros here in Europe, I think they are also the perfect price range. 
and they are really worth it. So if you're interested in buying a new pair of slippers for the holidays, I would definitely recommend getting a pair of the Ugg Scuff slippers. You might also find great deals on them in the next couple of weeks, so keep your eyes open when shopping. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't seen my other reviews yet, please go check them out. If you found this video helpful and you want to see more like it, please hit the like button and also consider subscribing to the channel. We are with almost 100 subscribers, so I would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. As always, wishing you a great holiday season and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Ciao!